Hi, my name's Joanne Fenton. I'm the Head of Foreign Languages at MacArthur Anglican School in Cobbardy, Sydney. Our school is a transition to Year 12 Christian school. It's located on the outskirts of Sydney. I'm an Indonesian teacher. Our school is also involved in the Bridge Program because one of the things that we seek to do is to give our students opportunities for authentic engagement. So we're linked with a Muslim school in Jakarta. Take a moment to discuss the sorts of things that um, typify what, what we might expect for a student who's going to get a 9 or 10 and then we work our way down through the bands. Sure. So yeah, I think I always go straight to what Alan said, that idea of fluency. Yeah. I think just I think having the idea that they know what they're saying and what's being said and answering those questions is important. For a student to get a 9 or 10, they absolutely have to have yeah. fluency and yeah. limited, it, it's there in the criteria, but limited reference to cue cards. Mm. And in fact, from what you were saying, Mel, it should also come out in the intonation. Yes. That it's not just fluent, but they actually have an understanding yeah. of what they're that's right. Yeah. Through the moderation process we were hoping that we would be able to apply the marking criteria confidently so that we not just marked our own students confidently and competently but also that there was equity between our different classes. Each teacher will go away and mark the students in their class. Um, we'll type up the feedback and give that to our students and they can then be confident that um, the marking is consistent across each class. So now that we've had a chance to look at the marking criteria, perhaps we can look at a sample from each of our classes. Sure. Yeah. So I've already um, marked my script mm -hmm. and if you guys could jot down some notes and then we can discuss and make sure that we see it the same way. Sure. Great. So it didn't mar fluency. No. Um, and you still had a couple of errors in there. Yeah. And um, they all seem to be of a, of a similar standard, which was interesting mm. because some of the ones in mine, um, I, I found, I, I had to, I had to differentiate. I, I didn't think that that person was performing as, as well as the other. So mm. I found those three to be of a pretty good level, pretty similar level. That's definitely a top band. Yes. Yeah. Um, because their script was very creative. Yeah. Um, there's a few little, maybe, it's interesting how we would talk, look at authentic, perhaps there's a few things that aren't quite authentic, but it was very creative mm. and it had a really wide range of vocab. It talked about, you know, where did they live mm. and, you know, giving phone numbers and... It covered um, pretty much everything from the unit. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. yeah, it did, it did. And, and some of the prior unit. You know, yes. Yeah. Yeah, Culturally? that's true. Mm. With the Indonesian probably touching the blonde... Yeah. I think that was an attempt to say Indonesians, you know, will like touching blondes on the head and that sort of thing. And so. And that's the feedback I wrote because yeah. I think that's where they were going. And I said, yeah. even though an Indonesian would touch someone's hair that was blonde, perhaps not all Indonesians, but um, they would never pat them on the top of the no. head. Can we have a look at one of mine? Yep. Oh, sure. Okay. Oh, wow, that's good. What's your feedback, Jo? Um, yeah, I agree with Mel that the fluency was fantastic and I think even stronger than yeah. the girls in my role play. The authenticity, so in terms of the intercultural, was definitely stronger. Mm. But I felt that the language mm. didn't have anywhere near as much breadth as the girls in my class. So then it comes back to that question we were asking at the start of do we weight all things equally or are there some things that are more important than others? As a result of the discussions that we've had we realised that we need to change the task itself a little bit because it didn't always capture exactly what we were hoping for and we also need to rework the marking criteria. 
I think it's really beneficial working as a team, working collaboratively. We're very fortunate here to have other teachers teaching the same language and we're really able through our discussions to learn from each other about the ways that we approach a task and how these approaches might have brought out slightly different areas in the student's work. Um, and I think that overall this helps us to keep um, continually reflecting and improving the quality of what we're doing.